Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So, in the midst of the glittering lights of New York, where Prince Harry and Meghan Markle dazzled the world with their presence, a storm brewed across the Atlantic, back in the heart of the British monarchy. King Charles III, weary of the media frenzy surrounding his estranged son and daughter-in-law, made a bold announcement, drawing a line in the royal sand. While the world's attention was captivated by Harry and Meghan's every move in the Big Apple, King Charles and his wife, Queen Camilla, made a decisive move of their own, unveiling their plans for a significant Commonwealth visit. In a surprising revelation that caught the world off guard, the royal couple declared their intent to embark on a four-day royal tour to Kenya, a nation intricately woven into the fabric of the British monarchy's history. This announcement, strategically timed to coincide with Harry and Meghan's New York escapade, was a clear message from the Buckingham Palace, a declaration that the showbiz-like charades across the pond would not deter the royal family from their duties and responsibilities. The official statement from the royal family's social media accounts resonated with determination, affirming the purpose behind King Charles and Queen Camilla's visit, their majesty's first visit to a Commonwealth country since the king acceded to the throne is at the invitation of President Ruto of Kenya and comes as the country prepares to celebrate 60 years of independence. The royal couple will visit Nairobi City County and Mombasa County. This visit to East Africa, starting from the end of this month, marks a significant milestone for King Charles. It serves not only as a celebration of the warm relationship between the UK and Kenya, but also as an emotional journey for the king himself. Kenya holds a special place in his heart, as it was the very place where his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, became the monarch. The visit is a poignant reminder of his roots and a testament to his commitment to the Commonwealth. In stark contrast to the glitz and glamour of Harry and Meghan's high-profile appearances, King Charles' decision to focus on his royal duties speaks volumes about his dedication to the monarchy. While Harry and Meghan continue to capture headlines, their antics now face stiff competition from the genuine and steadfast efforts of King Charles and Queen Camilla to uphold the dignity and legacy of the royal family. For King Charles, this is not just a royal tour, it's a resolute statement. It's a declaration that amidst the chaos of Megxit and the swirling controversies, the British monarchy stands tall, unyielding and undeterred by the antics across the Atlantic. It's a game-changer, signaling to the world that the true essence of royalty lies not in glitzy events and celebrity status, but in duty, responsibility, and unwavering dedication to the Commonwealth. As the world watches the royal drama unfold, it is the measured steps of King Charles and Queen Camilla that resonate with authenticity, reminding us all of the enduring strength of the British monarchy, even in the face of the most tumultuous storms. The showbiz spectacle might continue, but King Charles has spoken. It's game over for the US theatrics. The true royalty has arrived. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.